Understanding Rhinoceros Wallow, Exploring English Idioms. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English Learning Channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English phrases, and our focus is on the intriguing expression, Rhinoceros Wallow. This might sound a bit unusual, but by the end of this video, you'll understand not just its meaning, but also how to use it in everyday conversation. So, let's get started. Let's start by breaking down the phrase, rhinoceros wallow. A rhinoceros is a large, heavy mammal known for its thick skin and horned snout. They are often seen in the wild, indulging in a wallow, which is a shallow pit or depression where animals roll around or lie in water, mud, or dust. This activity is essential for their skin care and to regulate body temperature. In our phrase, these two words come together to create a vivid image, but what does it imply when used in English? When someone uses the phrase, rhinoceros wallow, it's typically to describe a situation where a person is indulging in their own problems or self-pity, much like how a rhinoceros wallows in mud. It's often used humorously or critically to suggest that someone is overly focused on their own issues without trying to find solutions. For example, if someone says, he's been in a rhinoceros wallow since he lost his job, it means that the person has been deeply absorbed in self-pity or sadness and isn't making an effort to move on or improve his situation. Now, let's see how this phrase can be used in different contexts. 1. After the breakup, she spent weeks in a rhinoceros wallow, refusing to go out with friends. 2. It's okay to feel upset, but don't let yourself get stuck in a rhinoceros wallow. 3. His rhinoceros wallow is preventing him from seeing new opportunities. Notice how in each example, the phrase is used to indicate someone being absorbed in their own troubles, often to their detriment. So, that's all about the phrase, rhinoceros wallow. It's a colorful way to describe someone indulging in self-pity or being overly absorbed in their own problems. We hope this video helps you understand and use this phrase confidently in your English conversations. Remember, learning a language is all about exploring and enjoying these unique expressions. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to practice using rhinoceros wallow in your conversations. See you in our next video.